dangerously close to the crashing waterfall, never before experienced by a climber or by anyone. Copy that, Will. Be careful. Be safe. As Will Gad was about to start his historic ascent, he could feel that force of nature. It's Niagara Falls, and, and I'm at the bottom of it, and it's crashing over the lip there. It's a powerful place. It's, it's rock and roll down there. And that's from a guy who's used to rock and roll adventures, climbing icebergs, paragliding through the Canadian Rockies. But this one presented new challenges. It kind of got problematic because my ice tools and, and me were getting coated in ice and I had to actually melt the ice off my ice tools to keep climbing up. He says he's meticulous about safety. It took me over a year of planning to do this one. I've been ice climbing for 30 years, and my worst injury is a broken nose, so I'm pretty careful about this stuff. It meant scouting out the perfect location. There are the equivalent of 4,000 semi-trucks going over it a second, right? I ended up getting covered in spray and trying to figure out what parts of the ice were good and what parts of it weren't. It took a lot just to make the trip happen. Gad and his team had to get the okay from the parks commissioner in New York State. He agreed to use a rope, so a fall likely wouldn't have been fatal. Daredevils have flocked to Niagara Falls for more than a century. In 2012, the most high profile stunt there ever. Crowds and media from around the world poured in to see Nick Walenda attempt his high wire walk across the falls. Gad went for the opposite strategy, keeping his mission a secret, even from friends. To him, this is sport, not spectacle. It has been killing me not to talk about it. And now I can say, yeah, Niagara Falls. He'll have lots to talk about now. Niagara Falls, yeah! You can feel it in your guts. It's the only climb I've ever done where you can see it and, and see what's going on and touch it with your ice tools, but there's this very visceral pounding of the water. It's like you're in the loudest club in the, in the world and the base is moving your clothes, except it's a giant waterfall. And after all that planning, it was over in an hour. Exhilaration he's now sharing with the world. Yeah, boys! Woo! Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto.